Hey guys, I'm getting this box ready. It's uh, distressed and torched. It has a skull. It's got wooden latch and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's all carved out with a Dremel. This inside black area is recessed and the uh, skull pops out and all handmade. So I'm getting it ready because um, I just uh, sold this one. This was a limited edition five. I've sold two this being the second one and they're all signed and numbered on the bottom so on a previous episode on this channel I made this wall art sweet dreams and it was done with the scroll saw I've been working with the scroll saw um, quite a bit this is pretty neat it's got a vintagey retro sort of look to it um, I've been working with the scroll saw a lot there's a site called MakerPatterns.com and there's hundreds of patterns on there. Low price, there's free ones. Go check it out. I've been working a lot with, with those uh, patterns. I have a few pieces here. You can check out my Etsy store. I'll leave a link to it. Um, I've made a few of these. Basically, I've been working on wall art. Um, check out the... Uh, the color gradient in the back is nice and trippy. Been working a lot of on um, a lot of signs. Uh, I also have well, that's Grateful Dead, right? Here's uh, 2112, and here's the uh, other 2112 I've yet to cut out with red as opposed to the uh, the black. For the most part, I like to do things that remind me of key moments, um, good memories, uh, just cool stuff from the past. And for me, that means the 80s. Laser tag. <laughs> I still got to cut this one out as well uh, around the shape. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys know laser tag, but I used to own uh, a laser tag kit. I got one for Christmas years and years ago, whenever that came out, the first year that that came out. Um, and it's just got good vibes. So I usually, you know, I work with the, uh, and a lot of you guys know, but for those of you that don't, uh, that, that are passing by and seeing this, I usually work with these themes, you know, uh, the rock and roll, the heavy metal, from the 80s to the 70s to the 60s, but... Um, this kind of thing, it's just a trick. I have a lot of different projects that you can see on my channel and stories that I tell. I've been working on a few cool ones that have great vibes to me. Aerosmith. When this band came out, it was really cool. Skid Row. Just what a great album that first album was. The Doors. That was a tr And Sabbath. I've done a few Sabbath signs and I just totally enjoy them. Um, I've got some other signs that I'm working on, but I've got some other projects in the mix as well. So essentially, I just I wanted to show you what I'm up to. Oh, I've got this. I've got this bear puzzle. And it's like 17 pieces, I think it is. You can find the bear puzzle as well as other puzzles that you can scroll out on makerpatterns.com as well. Just good vibes. Right? <laughs> um, I used to, I had all these, all of these on cassette. I'd play the Walkman over and over just till the cassettes just either got tangled up or wore or just constantly. It was, that was the form of entertainment along with riding bike and stuff. So, anyways, I'll catch you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I've got a project coming up, so I'll see you soon. are about to be trampled underfoot breaking news just in to the trampled underfoot podcast news desk sources inside the trampled underfoot podcast tell us that the trampled underfoot podcast is now on youtube trampled underfoot news has been able to confirm that this is indeed the case see clips from past episodes see original videos exclusive to youtube see more thought-provoking discussion more humorous stories more rage-inducing factual inaccuracies 
more mispronounced words, incorrect verb usage, and dangling participles. See more fun. Go to YouTube and search for Trampled Underfoot Podcast and subscribe today. Back to the studio.